Specification three, guilty beyond a reasonable doubt of the aggravated murder. Now to our other big story, emotions running raw in a courtroom as the verdict is read in the Brian Goldsby murder trial. Reagan Tokes' his family crying openly in the courtroom as the jury found him guilty of the Ohio State student's murder. Goldsby took Tokes on a night of terror in February of 2017, two and a half hours. It took the jury just under six hours to return their verdict. That judgment coming down on what would have been Tokes' 23rd birthday. ABC 6's Haley Nelson joins us live now from the Franklin County Courthouse with new reaction to what happened today with that verdict. Haley. Yeah, Reagan Tokes' parents and her sister, they were in the courtroom as the judge said the word guilty over and over again this afternoon here. And tonight we do have some new reaction from the prosecutor in this case as it takes another step towards being finished. All right. With a string of guilty verdicts ringing out. Find the defendant guilty beyond a reasonable doubt as to count one in the indictment for aggravated murder. It was tears and tissues for Reagan Tokes' parents and sister. Specification for guilty of aggravated murder. And as lawyers reviewed the verdict forms, there was not much reaction from Brian Goldsby, now found guilty on all counts in the rape and murder of Reagan Tokes. No, thank you. The defense declining to comment. Franklin County Prosecutor Ron O'Brien says their case was full of detail. There were few weeks we weren't working on the case for the last year. Prosecutors say they had strong evidence to lay out that Goldsby kidnapped Tokes as she left Bodega in the short north last February. They say he then led her to several ATMs, stole $60 from Tokes before he raped her. Goldsby then took her to a metro park in Grove City and shot her in the head. Franklin County Prosecutor Ron O'Brien says so much of this tragedy stands out. I think uh, this uh, victim in this case, Reagan Tokes, is everybody's sister, everybody's uh, female relative, and I think as Ms. Uh, Roush said in her closing argument, it's every woman's worst nightmare. And uh, I think we saw that unfold in here the last two weeks. And it was more tears and hugs as Reagan's family left court. Today is Reagan Tokes' 23rd birthday, and uh, I think uh, they uh, had that in the back of their minds, and I think they, as you could see from their reaction in the courtroom, were uh, pleased with the verdict the uh, jur jury returned. Prosecutor O'Brien says her family won't be speaking out just yet, but will likely do that once the next phase of this trial is all wrapped up. For, but for now, live at the Franklin County Courthouse, I'm Haley Nelson, ABC 6 News. Thank you, Haley. The death penalty sentencing phase is next for Goldsby. We're told that will begin on Friday. The jury is expected to start deliberating on that next week. Now, of course, we'll be there in the courtroom and we'll let you know what happens.